Hi guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. MXP here, and as you can see, I've just received the brand new Mini 3 Pro from DJI. I will unbox right away and give you my first impression about it. Um, first of all, let's start with a bit of ASMR. Okay, let's stop with ASMR, definitely not my kind of thing. Um, since the very beginning of, of its first product, DJI has really improved the way it's packing things. Uh, as you can see, everything is here, uh, white, uh, the Mini Pro here. Um, this package reminds me of the way Apple is doing things. Very pure, high quality packaging, uh, very sensitive and very nice quality here uh, the first thing you're gonna find is of course a mini uh, it's the first time i have a, a mini drone i just saw the first uh, phantom 4 then i had the mavic 2 pro and um, i'm really impressed by the size of that very little things uh, here's my hand i have big hands but that's very that's a very tiny drone i will put uh, the mavic 2 pro uh, next to it uh, after the unboxing just to show you uh, the size comparison the propeller seems very very tiny uh, i'm not it's, it seems like a toy for me but it's very high quality and very pro a very pro drone one cool thing as you can see uh, if you are a mavic user you have um you have to unfold first at uh, the top um, the top propellers and the top arms to unfold them. The bottom arms here, you can do whatever you like. First top, then top, under, and you get the, the drone unfolded. Um, the battery is already here. Uh, you have to, to charge it the first time just to be sure that everything is set. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a uh, um, um, charge, sorry. Here you have the gimbal protected with something to, to protect it. It's a, a very tiny gimbal, as you can see. Here I'm gonna unfold the arms before doing anything stupid. Even if I have the DJI provided me uh, to the DJI carry fetch, which I recommend if you're not paying attention to what you do. As you can see, uh, the sensor and the gimbal is very tiny. Uh, you have the ability to, to show vertical and I will show you how things are working this way front sensors, bottom sensors and no back sensor as you can see here slots to, to charge uh, not to charge sorry just to um, upgrade the firmware here the SD slot I got it reattach the gimbal I will have to remove the foam uh, before use as it's said here okay let's remove the phone but not be very useful later since I'm, I plan to do to this drone a lot uh, I think I will have to to learn how to put uh, the gimbal holder back okay got it uh, since I'm a uh, maybe two used I think I will have to to, to make even probably 3D, 3d print or have something just to, to be sure that the, the propellers remain in place while moving what's next uh, as you can see I've uh, received the the one with the 
brand new DJI SC remote controller, which uh, really looks like uh, the the old one, the the one I'm using with my Mega Two Pro. Uh, the only difference, one of the only difference, is that it doesn't have antennas. You unfold just to to be just you have to you have to unfold to to screw the sticks and uh, start uh, start flying. Uh, I'm gonna screw the sticks. Very small one. The all the controller seems very like um, the the first uh, smart controller. Uh, it's uh, lighter than the smart controller. Um, the battery is inside, was for a micro SD and another USB C plug. You can see here uh, space and the grid to to cool uh, for the cooler. For sorry to cool cool the remote. Uh, does it has battery? Yes. Let's start it. Rip. While it's starting, let's see what do we have. Uh, actually, extra propeller, USB C to USB C cable, and a notice. It doesn't seem to have a charger for the remote controller. Yeah, I think uh, that was a bit painful for for uh, with the the old smart controller since you have to to bring the the charger and the dedicated charger. So I think you can charge it on a regular uh, USB uh, charger. the The screen seems very very bright and really. Uh, like Retina display for uh, if you are a US user, but the voice it seems very clear. I'm in France. Okay, I will put in charge uh, the Mini 3 Pro right away. But just to show you, here is my Mavic 2 Pro, a uh, very heavy one, about nearly a, about a kilo, and this 290, uh, 249 grams uh, next to it, just to show you. A size comparison uh, very small very I'm very impressed uh, what DJI has made just to show you I'm gonna put this one here uh, the mini 3 pro is almost the size of a um, battery of mini of the Mavic 2 pro I just wanted to show you one cool thing about this drone too uh, first, uh, so as you can see, you need to charge it, but look what I've just used to charge it. An external battery used to to charge my my phones and things remotely. So I think that's gonna be this drone gonna be very very useful uh, with when using it um, when you have actually no access to any grid or something to charge you. You drone, so that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, that's gonna make me extra batteries too, even if I have the one inside, uh, two from the fly more, and then this one just used to charge uh, the drone. That's a pretty cool thing. So, what do I think about the Mini 3? If you're following me on Instagram, you know that I'm in love with this little one. The size is perfect and it's always with me in my backpack. I have tested it in windy condition and it's as stable as my Mavic 2 Pro. The vertical mode is very handy to shoot for social media as too. The remote controller is lighter than the smart controller with a brighter screen. I think that's because the battery inside is smaller, uh, since I have the feeling that I need to charge it more often. I have one concern with the Fly app. My N which is not that big, but uh, is sometimes touching the media button on the screen and that's very painful to lose um, the camera 
while flying since all the medias are prompted on screen. The tracking is working pretty well. Uh, it's very simple with a new DJI Fly app to select the subject on the screen and launch the tracking. You can also enable the, the automatic selection of a subject uh, within the app, uh, but the vertical mode will not be available in that case. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind, uh, since the Mini 3 Pro doesn't have uh, back sensors and tensor to track when you're flying backward, you will have to be very careful when you're using the tracking, uh, since um, the drone can hit something behind his back. Regarding the FlyMo combo, uh, it actually depends whether you need a bag or not. Uh, taking it will make you save more ab about 6 euros, and the batteries and charger uh, you have with it is very handy, but um, it's not a, a game changer for the drone. And with the charger, you can also charge them with any adapter or an external battery. Um, I think uh, this drone is a, a very good improvement from the Mini Do. You already have uh, um, a professional drone, and if you're considering buying it, uh, I've dropped a link in the description. I will post more content and information on my Instagram at MXP. So be sure to follow me here and to follow me on Instagram. Um, subscribe, like, and turn on the bell not to miss any of my videos. Thanks again, DJI, for sending me the drone, and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned.